Hey everybody, 49 am and welcome to another episode of Don't Ever Doubt Your Vagina. Boom. So I told y'all that I was just going to be doing it on Wednesdays and Tough Day, but since it's Freaky Friday, so we're going to do it for Wednesdays and Fridays. I just want to thank everybody for all the emails, all the DMs, the people that I've talked to. Thank y'all so much. Y'all stories be having me weak, and like I said, it's just so you know that you're not alone. So if you're having a bad day, you can listen to this and be like, damn, Shorty was really, he had all messed up. Facts, or whatever the situation is. Boom, here we go. Let me pull up the email right now. Okay, she said that as an attachment. <clears throat> okay, let me move this over. All right. <laughs> Shorty, wow. So it says, uh, don't ever doubt your vaginas in the, um, in the subject line. And it says, it was the distance for me, dot, dot, dot. Your dick ain't right. This is about to be funny. Boom, here we go. <clears throat> Let me see if I can make the font a little bigger so I can see. All right, here we go. Um, I was with my ex-husband at the time. Now, even though we were married, our relationship was long distance. Okay, first red flag. Okay, long distance wood is no good. Now she had to say the name no, my brother. Okay. <clears throat> this waist is killing me. Um, I always, I feel like I can't breathe. <gasps> but it's okay. Um, if I pass out, you know, just, just you know. Uh, contact somebody or whatever um i always felt like he was doing something however i never had any proof which usually is the case he was just moving hella funny all the time and you know with dudes if you don't have the proof you all type of crazy delusional bitches yeah and now i had all types and now i need all type of psych meds because i'm bugging out not she needed the psych meds i told you i ain't taking the medicine it can kiss my whole ass i kept telling him something is off about my vagina what he didn't understand is that I have all my pussy packs. Wig. Hello. Hello. Now she got the pussy packs. This is the pussy packs for me. And to the thick of it. <laughs> Boom. So it says, I mean, I have had the same OBGYN for 10 years. So I have 20 pages of pussy packs. Now she can go to page 17, article 1, paragraph 4. Oh, Allah. She's a right. Oh, Allah. So then she says, so, I tell his ass he has to go get checked out and his appointment is before mine. I call him while he at the doctor and as soon as the doctor comes back in the room, he wants to hang up on FaceTime. Mm. I'm telling him, I'm your wife. I need to know the results. Do you know this fool going to tell me HIPAA and banging on me? Not the HIPAA law. <laughs> Wait, listen. It's my privacy. I cry if I want to. Then he said, oh, sorry, he talk. So then he said, then she says, um, I was ready to hip hop pop smoke his ass. Not hip hop pop smoke. I never called somebody back so many times ever in my life. After that, I came and seen him <clears throat> in person to see what the doctor said. He says the doctor didn't say anything and everything is cool. I asked to see the paper. So while Fulio is looking for the doctor's paperwork, I start cleaning the house. Why the fuck? <laughs> Make sure I say it loud. Why the fuck? I found a half. I have. Oh, wait a minute. My bad, guys. Okay. Why the fuck I found a half a pill bottle with some name called Metrodazolol Flagyl? So girl, <laughs> so girl, I get the Google in the first and find it's for trichomonasis. Wow. I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought this nigga was fucking animals with that fucked up ass name. <laughs> what kind of fucked up disease is this? No wonder my pussy was doing the itchy and scratchy. Not the itchy and scratchy. Like, like you said, girl, don't, don't, uh, don't ever doubt your vagina. I started doing more Googling while he fake looking for the paperwork. And it said he comes, it comes from having sex with multiple people. Bitch. That means you've been fucking all types of bold, bold bacteria, Barbara, Betty, and Becky. Not Barbara, Betty, and Becky. And they bald with bacteria. Ooh. <laughs> Girl, so you know I couldn't wait to tell my OBGYN about this. <clears throat> you know, as women, we always need more proof. I've looked through his phone after giving him an old-fashioned Joe Jackson. Papa, don't hit me no more, ass woman. Not the don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Wig. Boop. <laughs> oh, Lord. All I see, all I see is... Good morning, handsome, at 8.32 a.m. Um, it's the 8.32 for me. Not not you knew the exact time, girl. That was 8.32. <laughs> give me give me 10 minutes to get ready, get ready, poppy. Like, now this nigga Spanish, girl, bye. Girl, so in closing, I will never doubt my vagina again. Ladies, take it from me. Long distance dick is just that. Long distance dick. 
I appreciate the story. You got to get your laughs in while you can. Girl, to, listen, you don't have to go through stuff. Listen to these stories. You don't have to go through. The red flags going to start popping up. So thank y'all for listening in on another episode of Don't Ever Die Your Vagina. Yeah.